out of the native bees and say European honeybees get along. They ignore each other. Uh, European honeybees, they're designed to attack mammals like bears, humans, <laughs> things that are going to attack their hive. You can imagine, how is a European bee going to attack one of these little fellas? Yes. Just can't. But these little fellas, they've got nice little mandibles so they can grip on, believe it or not, uh, Apis, the European honeybee, can't fly when it's missing a leg. They will chew off a leg. So if there's a bee fight... Yeah, back these guys. <laughs> but it's the honey these little fellas produce that we're after. Now, there's a reason European honeybees are the bee of choice. Harvesting native bee honey is challenging. The bees use resin from tree sap to seal up the hive like a strong box. And they're not happy about being disturbed. Good job they're stingless. I feel like they want to make a new nest in my nose. <laughs> wow. Now, this... It's like a sunflower. ...is a beautiful wow. hive. How is that? So that structure is so different to what you'd classically expect to see with a European honeybee. The eggs are arranged in discs, surrounded by sacs made from resin that are full of honey. And yeah, there's so layers. Yeah. There, there might be 10, 20 sort of layers, discs, discs like under. So the queen is now hiding underneath saying, whoa, what the hell happened here? Just prick these... Just the yeah. little sacs like that? Yeah, just prick them. OK, and then we just turn this upside down and we let it drain out. But this small offering was 18 months in the making. 